and welcome back to my channel so i have another walmart slash ibotta haul here for you guys if you've watched my previous walmart video you would see that i have some some of the same items from my previous walmart video but i also have some new items and every time items reset and especially if i'm trying to hit the bonus i take advantage of those items again because it's, it makes it easier for me to reach the bonus that i'm trying to reach so in this transaction right here i was planning to only reach one bonus but i actually reached two different bonuses so with the bonus that i was trying to reach it was i only needed to redeem 12 more rebates and when i redeemed those 12 rebates i would have gotten back a 10 dollar bonus which i did and then also for purchasing um the renews it's I reached a $1 bonus that I was unaware of so that's nice so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have in this transaction let you know what coupons I bought a rebates I used so if you guys are interested then just keep on watching so right here I have some Huggies pull-ups this is size 2t to 3t and this is the 23 count I have some cheesy cheese it snapped chips right here and then right here I have some always infinity flex foam I have some Tampax Pocket Radiant Tampons. I have, again, this three pack of renews -its. I have five individual renews -its. I have this package of Red Vines. I have this uh, package of Toffee Fake Candy. I have this Sweet Tart Ropes. I have the Chips Ahoy Thins. I have the Chips Ahoy White Fudge Chunky. I have the Family Pack of Nature Valley Crunch Granola Bars. And so this is all that I have in this um, transaction. I used I bought a rebates for these and this for this entire transaction. I didn't use any coupons. So with the pull-ups, the pull-ups is priced at my store for eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. Fetch Rewards has a rebate for 3,000 to where you can receive 3,000 points back when you purchase the 17 count or higher. This is the 23 count, so I was eligible for that rebate. Now the thing with Fetch, Fetch Rewards is that when I scanned my rebate, for some reason Fetch didn't pick up my pull-ups, so I had to uh, put in a receipt, a receipt ticket and let them know that I was trying to um, get the 3000 points and then so what they did was they went ahead and just added the 3000 points to my account okay so they are priced at eight dollars and 97 cents ibotta also has a two dollar and fifty cent offer that you can get back when you purchase one and i think the limit is five i'm not quite sure but i will have the rebate up for you guys so 897 minus the 250 from Ibotta will bring the total down to just six dollars and 47 cents and then you will submit your receipt to fetch rewards and get your 3000 points which is three dollars so that'll bring the total down to just three dollars and 47 cents for this package of pull-ups which i think is a great deal because the regular price is basically nine dollars and you're getting it for three so that's nice and then right here with the cheese it snaps these are priced at my store for two dollars and 42 cents ibotta does have a rebate back for 75 cents making this bag of cheeses just a dollar and 67 cents right here with the toffee fay so this is priced at my store for a dollar and 18 i'm sorry two dollars and 18 cents ibotta does have a rebate offer back for a dollar making this just a dollar and 18 cents right here with the red vines the red vines are priced at my store for a dollar and 12 cents ibotta does have a rebate back for 40 cents making this package of red vines just 72 cents right here with the renews it this is priced at my store for two dollars and 62 cents and this is the three pack ibotta does have a rebate back for a dollar so that'll bring this three pack down to just a dollar and 62 cents for all three or just 54 cents each and then back here with the Always Infinity Flex Foam. So this is priced at my store for $3.88. Ibotta does have a rebate back for $2. So with the, so using that rebate, it'll bring the total down to just $1.88 for this box of Always. And this is the 11 count. And so right here with the Tempex Pocket Radiant Tampons, these are priced at my store for $3.97. Ibotta does have a rebate for $2 back. So when you use that rebate, it'll bring the total down to just $1.97 for these tampons. And this is the 14 count. 
and then right here with the family pack nature valley crunch granola bars these are priced in my store for five dollars and 98 cents Ibotta does have a rebate back for a dollar so when you use that rebate it'll bring the total down to just four dollars and 98 cents right here with the chips ahoy white fudge chunky cookies these are priced at my store for $2.32. Ibotta does have a rebate back for a dollar. So when you use that rebate, it'll bring the total down to just $1.32. Same thing with the Chips Ahoy Thins. Priced at my store for $2.32. When you Ibotta has a rebate back for a dollar back. So when you submit your receipt to Ibotta, it'll make these just $1.32. And then right here for the Sweet Tart Ropes. These are priced at my store for $2.46. Ibotta does have a rebate back for $0.75. Cents. So when you use that rebate, it'll bring the total down to just $1.71 for these sweet tart ropes. So that's all that I got in this transaction right here, you guys. So overall, let me grab my receipt. Oh, you guys, and another thing I forgot to mention right here where it says fanship. A dollar and fifty times four. I purchased four of those. So that right there is actually some Butterfinger ice cream that I purchased in Walmart. They are in the freezer, so that's why I didn't um put them out and show you guys. But I also purchased that as well. So everything rung up exactly how it was supposed to. And as you can see right here, it brought my overall subtotal to forty eight dollars and fifty nine cents, not including taxes. So from my rebates, I got back a total of $15.60. So $48.59 minus the $15.60 that I got back in rebate offers, it brought my total down to just $32.99. I then got back a $10 bonus and a $1 bonus. So in total, I got back a total of $11 in bonuses. So $32.99 minus the $11 in bonuses I got back, it brought my total down to just $21.99. And don't forget, I submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards for the 3,000 points for the pull-ups, so I did get those. So $21.99 minus the $3 that I got back from Fetch Rewards, it brought the overall total for this entire transaction down to $18.99. And I have a total of 20 items. So when you divide that $18.99 by the 20 items that I have, it'll make each of these items just $0.94, cents, which, is which is an amazing deal. And what I like to do, you guys, is that um, even if my offers reset, so like for an example with the Renews It's, each time this offer resets, I'm going to continue to get this because number one, I use these when I sell my bundles. And the reason why I always get the same rebates each time that they reset is so that I can reach whatever bonus that I'm trying to get to the quickest. And these are the items that, you know, I don't have to spend too much out of pocket. And so that is pretty much how I maximize to get to my bonuses the quickest. If you guys are not using Ibotta, I will most definitely have my link in the description box below and I will have my code on the screen for you guys when you sign up using my code you will receive $20 when you receive when you redeem your first rebate through Ibotta so that's an easy way to get $20 again I will have the code in the description I will have the code on the screen for you guys and I will have the link in the description box so below you guys if you are not using fetch rewards I will have the link in the description box below as well as my code on the screen for you guys to use do not forget to submit your receipt to fetch rewards especially if you are planning to do the huggies deal and even if you aren't planning to do the huggies deal still submit your receipt to fetch rewards regardless so that you can start building up some points and when you build up some points to a certain amount, you can then start redeeming those points for gift cards. And that's what I usually do. I let my points build up on Fetch Rewards and then I usually redeem for a Walmart gift card. That way, when I go ahead, go to shop in Walmart, I don't have to spend a lot of money out of pocket. If you all enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you guys would consider subscribing. And if you all are not following me on Instagram, I will have that linked in the description box below as well. And I will have my Instagram name on the screen for you guys. And I think that's going to pretty much be it for this video. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next one.